Freebird here, back with another video. Today I am going to be reviewing Kawaii Slime Company's package. So I have had their subscription to boxes themed around each month, and I've been having this for six months. So I thought I would show each box in order of the months and just talk about the themes and what they did and just what I would think about the subscription compared to their regular shop. So let's get into it. This is the December box because I got this for Christmas. So this is the first box I received of my subscription. So it will be December themed. Let's open it up. It is great packaging. This box is super cute, but sadly it must go away. Goodbye. Let's take a look at their packaging. So they have a picture of their box. So it just says share your photos using hashtag Kawaii Slime Company on Instagram. So I think it's just saying share your photos of your slime boxes. I'm not entirely sure. This one is a little card. It comes, in, there's a card for each subscription box. It tells you what slimes you have, what toys you have, and what supplies you have, and it gives you a theme. This theme is Fa La La Llama. Then we have the slime care guide, which is in every single box they send. It shows how to play, what different types of slimes are good for, how you store it, little tips and tricks, what to do with Sticky slime, stiff slime, just all these tips for if your slime gets deflated or not clear, just stuff like that. So it is so cute and really well made. Let's move on to the toys slash supplies. Here we have this llama stress toy is what they call it. And it is just this adorable little llama squishy. It comes in really cute packaging, and it's really nice. It's super squishy, super nice. It's pretty slow rising. Uh, I've never seen like a sort of 2D squishy like this, so I think it's really cool. Let's put this away. Goodbye. Next, we have the Decorate a Llama Squish. Llama Squishy? It's Decorate a Llama Squish. Oh my gosh, it's not a squishy. Decorate a Llama Stickers. And it comes also with the Holiday Charm Mix. Um, I. Oh, that's where the other charm is. So then we have some activator, which comes in a spray bottle. Super easy. Um, and then we've got slime softener. So if your slime gets stiff, there's that, which I think is really cool. Some slime companies don't even bring activator, but they also provide softener, which is super cool. Let's move on to the slimes. This first slime is the five ounce crunchy Kawaii Christmas Flome slime. Sort of a mouthful. So this slime is really cute. It is, I don't know if it just deflated or if it came like this, but it is definitely not full to the brim, but that's okay. It has green, yellow, and pink beads in it. And then it has lots of micro flown beads. So that's really nice. The slime itself is super um, crunchy and it is just really stretchy and fun to play with. It's not the best for clicks or bubble pops, of course, but it is just an amazing slime for crunches and pops. So just if you sort of want to play with this mindlessly, this is really good. You can just sort of hold it in your hand and stretch it and crunch it 
great stuff like that. So yeah, I think this slime is very, very good. And just let's take a moment to listen to these crunches. All right, so I would give this slime probably just a 4.5 because it was not filled to the top. I think that is just due to it deflating, but still, it has been dropped down some points for that. Goodbye! On to our next and final slime. It is the Fuzzy Llama Fur Cloud Slime. Wow. Oh, the last one, it smells like cinnamon and apples. Sorry, I forgot to mention the scent. So, this one does include the llama charm. Um, so this is where the other slime supply is. It's actually in the slime. It does sort of get weird if it gets slime on it. It does like, it, you can't get the slime off, but that's okay. I don't really use charms anywhere but the slime, so it's okay if there's a little slime on it. So the slime itself is super nice. It's a very, very, very pretty cloud slime. Um, it is a tad bit crumbly, but that's okay. It's sort of wet, but I think the more you play with it, the more it just sort of comes together. Um, it is white, and it has some sprinkles. So it is a pretty basic slime. I think if there weren't sprinkles, it would sort of be just sort of plain. So I like that they added the sprinkles. It makes it really nice. Um, it says it's supposed to smell like freshly fallen snow. Let me sm smell it. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't exactly smell like snow. It just smells like water with like a little freshener, like an air freshener, something floral and like that. So yeah, it does leave a tiny bit of fallout on your hands. Really no fallout. Um, it does leave some on the table though, but that's fine. So yeah, I would probably give this slime another 4.5 stars just because of the fallout and it's sort of crumbly but again it's really fine it's a really nice cool slime but it's just sometimes a little hard to play with so that is all for this video it's definitely a lot shorter than my first slime review i hope you guys um like that it was a little shorter um tell me in the comments but yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye, honey bear.